tumeshukuru kwa sababu ya kuona prosecutor kukuja kutuangalia ashukue eh, fongesi yetu kwa sababu anakuja kukujua ukweli wa mambo ni wakina nani walitupiga they are happy to see you to, to host you here as, as you seek the truth kwa sababu wakati tulikuwa show tulisikia mreno alikuja when they were children they heard that mreno kampo had came lakini mimi kama mama na kiongozi hakuona mreno na macho yangu but her as a woman as a mother she didn't see mreno kampo mimi nikusikia inasikiaga iko watu wanaenda kutoa ushahidi lakini mimi hakujua ile kambi ya show grant she only hears of witnesses but she uh, she, uh, she she doesn't know who are there. Hakuna mtu alitoka show ground. No one came from the show ground. Na tulikuwa watu wa 16,000 And there were 16,000 persons there. Na hakuna mtu alitoka huko kutoa ushahidi. And from the 16,000 no one was picked as a witness. Kwa hivyo inashukuru kwa sababu anakuja aigalau alikaa anakuja na inashukuru kwa sababu sasa atajua ukweli. Although you came late they are happy to host you here. Aya uh, sasa itataka kusema mimi nataka kusema ukweli ule mtu ilimuona akishomea nyumba yangu na ule mtu ilimuona akiua mtu na kama hata saa hii ikiwaambia yende ikasema ni fulani itasema ni fulani na ule mtu ndio mimi ilifika ikaona siwezi kurudi kwa sababu hata saa hii ako hapo and she decided she she not listen to back to her father na huyo mtu kill and burn her house is still there na italamu serikali kwa sababu ya kukataa kushika yule mtu na dio sasa anakataa mimi irudi pahali nilikuwa she blames the, the government for not arresting the persons who killed and who burned the house na yule mtu alishomea mtu na ikaona akiua mtu ndio alikuwa shikwa aseme ni nani alimpatia pesa ndio akuja shomea mimi she, want, she also wants to know who financed for the, uh, the person who came and burnt her house and killed ule mtu alifuja mguu yangu ikawekwa plaster mesi sita na hiyo namjua na hiyo mtu bado shikwa asema ni nani alisema afuje mimi mguu the, the person who assaulted her is still at large has not been arrested kwa hivyo nashukuru prosecutor kukuja Kenya ndio ajue shida yetu ni nani nini kwa hivyo mimi mwaongea yangu inaongea kidogo sana kusema hivi bwana prosecutor kwa eh, wale walitufunja miguu wakashama nyumba wakaua watu washikwa waende kotini wasema ni kina nani waliwapatia pesa na wakaanza sasa kuchoma manyumba kuanzia saa saba ya mchana kufikia kitu kama saa tatu ya usiku inawa area tuliona reinforce ya watu watuji mahali walitoka walitoka chini kama kumbe kumbe na sisi tulikuwa tumekaa chini tukijichungia tusichomewa manyumba. Lakini walipoingia kwa kijiji walianza kusema leta maziwa in their language. In their own language. Lakini sisi tulikuwa najua Kenya wanasema. Lakini tuliona nyumba zikianza kuchomwa moto. Tukienda kuzima moto watoto wetu wanapigwa mishale. Tukitoka hiyo unakuta mwingine amekatakatiwa nyumba amevurutwa kutoka usingizi hakujua vile kunaendelea. Kama kwetu kuna mtu alitolewa kwa nyumba asubuhi akakatakatwa hapo. Na akarudi. Akakatakatwa hapo na nyumba yake ikachomwa moto. Wakiingia kwa nyumba ya ngombe wanatoa ngombe na mbuzi wanaweka hiyo nyumba moto. Na kuanzia hata mchana tukaona wakubwa wao wakikuja wakisema musipotoka mtaona yenye mliona jana usiku. Walipotufanyia hivyo sisi tuliamua kutoka kuna wenzetu waliokolewa na helikopter wakadungwa mishale hata kuna watoto wako hapo wako na alama za mishale wengine mapanga mabwana zetu walikufa. Lakini nashukuru madam prosecutor hapo hapa. Atafanya ukweli. Wewe wakati sisi tulikuwa tunapigwa we were running. Baka watoto in fact what we, we, we 
Oh God, it's pain. The truth is pain. Uchungu na ukiona mimi ni kijana mdogo ni kilia mama yangu ama nyanya yangu kenye alipitia utuko na wengine mpaka wako na mishale ambayo walidungwa majiraha. Some have uh, wood from the arrows. Yeah. Nimekuombea Mungu kwa hiyo kesi yako utakapofika Hague do justice. Do justice kabisa. Kwanza bwana yangu alikuwa amekatwa mkono na sasa hakukuwa na matibabu. Uh, her husband was amputated. Na dipo sasa tukaelekea showground Nakuru. They came to showground in Nakuru. Hapo tumeishi. They stayed in showground in Nakuru. Lakini nilisikia kuna ushahidi ulienda huko Hague. The uh, she hears of a of a piece of evidence that was taken to Hague. Nilishangaa kusikia kuna washahidi na nilishindwa walitoka wapi. She was surprised uh, to hear that there are witnesses and she did know where they came from. Maana pale tulipokuwa showground si kuona ujumbe kama huu because no one from the prosecution went to investigate from the from where they were in the camp ama nikasikia ujumbe umeenda ka bingine yoyote she didn't even hear uh, persons from the office of the prosecutor visit camps sasa kwa kwa kwa, kwa upande wangu ama na wana kijiji wenzangu uh, from her side ningependa ushahidi na ndio nilafurahia sasa sababu ushahidi umeanza kutoka kwa kambi she wants you to collect evidence from the camp na sasa nilajua utapata ukweli and you will get the truth. Kwa sababu hawa watu nawaona hapa the persons you are seeing here walipata makubwa na walipitia makubwa. They suffered. Na sasa wagepata wagetaka ukweli na ufanyike. They want justice and they are crying for the truth. Ndio sababu unaona pale wamefurahi kwa sababu wanajua ukweli sasa utapatikana. They are happy to host him here because they'll get the truth. Tarehe 6 mwezi Januari 8 2008 aka tuka ilikuwa inaandikwa laila peace no laila no peace and the banners were reading no laila no peace ya kitambo kiliandikwa kiliandikwa na ikawekwa kwa boundary no laila no peace the, 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 the banner was kept as the boundary na tuka na tukaambia kasi itaendelea mlisema kasi iendelee na kasi ikaendelea kutoka hapo nyumba yetu tukaambiwa sasa hameni mlisema kati yaendele na nyumba itashoa moyote sasa kwa hivyo mimi maombi yangu kutoka ile mahakama ya ya huko nini ngambo sasa watu wa kamato wale walichoshomea nyumba tujue ni akina nani waliwachoshea Yale mambo ambaye yangefanyika wakati ule tulikuwa wagonjwa hayakufanyika lakini wakati tumepata dawa kutoka kwa serikali tumepewa mashamba ndio yanataka kufanyika kwa hivyo sisi tunaomba ICC tulikuwa tumewaamini sana lakini ile ile mambo ambaye walichukua ama Yale maoni walichukua kwa watu ati ndio wawakilishe wa, hawa IDPs haikufaulu kwa sababu hayakuchukuliwa kutoka kwa IDPs. <laughs> Sisi tunashangaa hawa ma witness ambaye tuko na wao tunasikia wana witness ICC ni kina nani? <laughs> kwa sababu hapa kwa IDPs hata kama hatujui tungefaa kujua hata mmoja hata kama ni watu kumi. Kwa kambi 21 tunajuana karibu sisi wote. Kwa kambi 21 ambaye serikali imerecognize ni IDPs. Na bado tuko na watu integrated ambaye hawakukuja kwa makambi. Ambaye hawakukuja kwa makambi. Na tunaelewa serikali bado inawajali. 
Kwa hivyo ile kitu tunaomba ni ICC iwache kufunua vinonda sana. Tunaelekea kwa uchaguzi mwingine. Na sisi kama IDPs tutachaguana kwa sababu tunataka inchi yetu ipate laini. Kwa sababu tusipochaguana sisi wenyewe tutarudi kujelaumu baadaye. Hatukatai tulipigwa. Na kama tungeulizwa kabisa kama tungeulizwa tungepeana mwelekeo ya wale watu walitupiga. Lakini si, lakini sio lakini sio watu kuchukuliwa bila sisi kujua ni kina nani wanapelekwa atikuhukumiwa na sisi ndio wenzetu tulikuwa na information kamili na hatukuulizwa. Tumeumia kwa makambi hatukatai.